Hi, Taksfu here. So today we'll be doing a bit of a tips and tricks video. So today we'll be having a look at how to make the output of OBS a virtual webcam on Linux. Now the reason you might want to use OBS as a virtual webcam is it's a very powerful application. You'll have a lot more control over what you're outputting to the other program. So as a virtual webcam, let's say you're in a video conference, you'll have a lot more control over what others can see. So you can show your desktop or just show a window of another application. You can show media files and do apply all sorts of effects and filters. So I've got different settings here on this camera for different lighting situations. So this is the one I use at night. It obviously doesn't look very good here because this is for at night when I got I've got six very bright lights in here. This is the one I use during the day if it's sunny. And then I've got one here if it's cloudy and I can also do things like this. It's got chroma key. If I wanted to I could switch cameras. Show both cameras. And move things around and all sorts of neat stuff. So this here and this window would be what's output to the other program. So let's get to how to do it. So obviously you'll need OBS so make sure you've got that installed and we'll need a new kernel module called Video for Linux 2 Loopback and I'll put links to these in the description. You'll have to compile this so make sure you've got the kernel headers and then you'll have to build, install and run it. So there's instructions here. And you'll also need this OBS plugin. Now if you're on a Debian based distro you won't have to compile this. You can go to release and download this dev file and install it. Now I've only tested this on Ubuntu 19.10 and it works. But if you're on another distro, you'll have to compile and build it. But they've got some instructions here on how to do it. Now, if you don't know how to use Git, because I don't, this one doesn't tell you how to use Git. You can see on this one here, it tells you how to clone a Git repository. So I'll go through that in a second. So you'll need to install git, so you'd use your package manager on Debian based distros, it's usually apt, so I'd simply do that and I can go git clone and then we can go back here as you see here it says clone or download and you just copy that link and you paste it here and it'll clone that repository and then you can follow change into that directory and follow these instructions there you go follow all these instructions and you'll be good to go okay so hopefully you've compiled and installed that kernel module and installed the OBS plugin so now Lex just unload this kernel module and then do ls slash dev slash video now if you I wasn't typing really fast you only have to type in the first few letters you hit tab and then it completes the rest if it exists now if I double tab it'll give me the available options because there's more than one and as we see there's four video for Linux devices so now let's Reload the kernel module and then do ls slash dev again. Just, this is just so that we know which device is our virtual device. So we know it's number four. So now in OBS we can go tools, video for Linux 2 sync. If you tried installing an OBS plugin while OBS was running it might not show up. So restart OBS. Okay, so you hit start here, 
make sure this is correct. And now the output from OBS will be put out to this virtual device. Okay, so now let's test it out. I'll start a call on Ditsy, which is a video conferencing software which works from the browser. I'm going to click start a call. What's it doing here? Don't show me this. Click go. Give it a moment to try to detect my webcams. Ooh, it hasn't shown. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes this happens. Let's VLC this. And go capture device. Just test it in here. Select video 4. Okay. It appears to be a Firefox issue because I can play it in VLC. So let's try a workaround. I'm going to click stop here and reload this page. There it is, the dummy video device. But before I click allow, I'm going to hit start over here in the OBS plugin. Now I'm going to click allow. Okay, and now the video is flipped in the Jitsi. Hold on. There must be an option to flip. I think this is a issue with Jitsi. Ah, flip. There we go. Fixed. So now, in Jitsi, if I was having a conference, I'll have a lot more control. So I can do this and this. Right. So, yes. Back to this. So that's how to set up the output of OBS as a virtual webcam. Hopefully this is a cool little trick that you can try out for yourself and um, hopefully you'll have some fun with it. See you later.